My visit is meant to confirm the Catholic community in its worship of God and its witness to the Gospel, which teaches the dignity of every man and woman and commands us to open our hearts to others, especially to poor and those in need. What gives me joy is when the people have been encouraged to be able to kind of utilize their own gifts in order to improve their standard of living and uh, uh, so on. Caritas is a global confederation of Catholic organizations working in humanitarian emergencies and international development. The headquarters of Caritas are in Rome, Italy, but Caritas has permanent presence in most of the world's countries. Pope Benedict XVI praised Caritas during his pontificate, saying it has rightly earned the esteem and trust of the faithful and many other people around the world for its generous and consistent witness of faith and its concrete ability to respond to the needs of the poor. Pope Francis says that Caritas is an essential part of the Church and that it institutionalizes love in the Church. There is an inseparable bond between our faith and the poor. May we never abandon them, Pope Francis says. Caritas Nairobi coordinates and provides health, social and development services to the archdiocese without regard to race, gender, age, social background, or religious affiliation. Caritas Nairobi serves the very marginalized people, especially in the slums of Nairobi, and also in the pockets of poverty in the larger Kiambu County. At Caritas Nairobi, our vision is a just, self-reliant, and value-based society. Our mission is to work with strategic partners to continuously advance human dignity and the fullness of life to communities in need by building and enhancing capacities in self-reliance and provision of humanitarian aid. The programs we run through Caritas and Nairobi include uh, microfinance, all self-help program, agriculture and environment, capacity building, gender and youth development, and relief service. From the five programs, they all cut across, giving support to different beneficiaries. Uh, under the agriculture program, we have different projects. That is, we have uh, rapid commercial rapid production, we have Ava Exchange project, we have chicken, indigenous chicken project, we also have a very good project. Uh, our coverage uh, is all over Kiabu County, that is um, mostly in Monyo, Kiriko, Matara, uh, Digio, uh, and the bits of Nairobi, where we assist uh, different small farmers. James Waweru is one of the beneficiaries of the agricultural program. He is part of the at least 500 households that are targeted every year. James Waweru and 33 other households in Kiriko in the lower Kiambu County have benefited from modern agricultural training and heifer exchange program. Enrigia kwa muradi hii wa Caritas toka mwezi wa 7. Na mimi pia walikuja wakaniambia kuna muradi naidia. Mimi nikaona niwe mmoja wao. Na mimi sio wa Catholic. Mimi kwa kanisa mimi nasoma PCA. Hawakuangalia hivyo wakaona kuja kwangu wakaona nimefaa na wakania mkia nikaona ni we mmoja wao ukitoa ngombe una chuga ikisaa nini dama una lisa 600 unapeana ukarudisha yani kama shukurani kwa kanisa na yangu mimi lisa na nikarudisha nikapea mtu mwingine ukirudisha hiyo dama unakatiwa roni yako mara pili Another beneficiary, Nicholas Mwangi, also shares in the same joy. Fikira zangu ni kupandisha ukulima wangu. Kwa maana nimeona sim la Dubai. Kwa maana hapo kitambo ni kuwa na ngombe kama watatu hapa. Lakini juu ya shida ya mashule nini. Hiyo kwanza nikamaliza. 
lakini sasa mimi naona kwa vile nimeishikana na nyinyi sasa mmepatia nguvu ya kuendelea alafu kuunganisha na vitu vile zingine mimi nalima huko two model farms that is uh, one in Monyo and the other in the upper Kiambu region that is in Imuru where we train farmers on agricultural production the self help program is another program under Caritas Nairobi that has benefited hundreds of thousands in Nairobi and Kiambu counties with over 110,000 members 175 groups the program is still growing we deal with a microfinance program that covers both Nairobi and Kiambu county uh, at the Caritas Nairobi the microfinance coordinates every effort that is done by the members that we serve. We have four components that will help us in accomplishing our mission. One of them being uh, capacity building to our members, whereby we uh, create or build information to them. And the other one is audit, uh, whereby we ensure that the books of accounts and the accountability of the members is adhered to. Uh, number three, we have monitoring. Number four is the technical advice that we also offer to our members. We offer that advice on investments as well as investing on their behalf. The self-help program recently led to inception of Caritas Microfinance Bank. This is a bank that uh, was licensed about five months ago in June 2015. And it's a first of its kind under the Archdiocese of Nairobi and it's the first Catholic uh, bank to be established uh, in Kenya. Uh, as of now, we have managed to, uh, to have over 2,000 accounts heading to 3,000, which was um, our target for this particular year. And um, have managed to, to mobilize over 80 million in terms of uh, deposits. Uh, the program is one that uh, seeks to promote equity and equality of all members in the Archdiocese of Nairobi. This is both men, women, the boys and girls. In the program we have four projects, one of which is uh, targeting women and it is called PROMIC, that is Promotion of Micro Enterprise. This project supports about 1,800 women. Uh, we also have another project targeting youth, this is IEP, which is Archdiocese Youth Empowerment Program. Currently, we are supporting over 300 youth and about 30 uh, youth groups have been able to access the youth fund. IEP is one of the most successful and notable projects that has recently benefited youth, especially in the county of Nairobi. In the last 12 months, the program has benefited 31 youth groups, with loans and work equipments of over 1.5 million shillings. Ghetto hustlers in Kariobangi are some of these beneficiaries. Uh, tumekuwa tukipitia challenges small. By the way, kabla tujanta kuformi group, tulikuwa, kuna wengine walikuwa nga mapati ya tuneza wita machukura, wengine walikuwa apia kwa mejingiza kwa crime, but tunona venye tulishikana na caritas, na tukama yek badu, wakakama up na idea bado tunaweza apply youth fund wakakama up tumeya apply la youth fund kutia kwa usaidizo wa yep na Caritas Nairobi e, na wakina Mary bado tukaweza kupata youth fund ina tusaidia tumenunua handcart mbili uh, the aim is double first of all to have uh, not idle in youth so that they can be a bit busy uh, with some projects and income projects and at the same time not being idle they can also uh, be agents of peace among uh, where they live and so on. One week later after the donation of these items Ghetto Hustlers is already in business. Ghetto Hustlers are not only in the IEP program but also in the peace building project that also involves children from schools where we have peace clubs and youth peace clubs. <laughs> PROMIC is also another project under the Gender and Youth Development Program that has benefited over 1,000 women, especially in Kiambu County. PROMIC is also another project under the Gender and Youth Development Program that has benefited over 1,000 women, especially in Kiambu County. 
Dudo sioni dai karide na gikuaruni. Kwa dhaho tite kugora. Gevi de dagiri yoni mo tu miya murata wa kota vita vira na. Na gevi kiu ne juu ni kia dai di ni kia dai diri yamu no. To dudo dawa ku kia dia daso kire kia. Ai mi ni kuku kugora daso kire kia dia. Na dugu lete giri sixty. Ne da diri giri gana dia dati. Caritas Nairobi is widely known for its humanitarian and relief interventions. In April this year, its staff in Milan, Italy, represented Caritas Nairobi during the celebration of Milan Expo. The Caritas model is based on promoting integral human development uh, to our communities, and especially those in our society that are underprivileged. We measure progress not just on abstract strategies, but primarily on how people are able to enjoy uh, their fruits of their labor and also live a life that is dignified. The relief program coordinates development and aid projects in efforts to advance and sustain social justice to vulnerable groups of people within the Archdiocese of Nairobi. Among the projects coordinated through this program include peace building initiatives, rehabilitation services for the street children, charitable aids towards refugees, people living with disabilities, and those infected with HIV AIDS. I have really benefited because, uh, like recently, a friend of mine came and told me there were, there were some acres of land being sold in Narok, and I didn't have cash with me. So I went and sold my shares. Mm -hmm. Then the remaining balance I took loan from the self-help group. So I live to remember it because at least I have an, a plot of my own. Caritas Nairobi Relief Services aims to do just as Jesus ordered us to do, to offer free humanitarian assistance to our neighbors who have been victims. We offer short-term assistance in cases of emergency and go an extra mile of empowering deserving victims, allowing them to rebuild their lives to be self-dependent. Our interventions at Caritas Nairobi are aimed at improving the quality of life of our brothers and sisters who have been displaced from their former ways of life by calamities beyond their control. Amina is one of the targeted beneficiaries. She not only lacks basic needs, but also suffers from trauma. She narrates in tears how she witnessed her family being tortured by the Al-Shabaab and later being butchered to death. Now, she lives in Isli in poverty. I know family. I native family. Before uh, Somalia, Kismayo. Kismayo, Shitamingi sana. I before family. Mama died. Baba Akuno, my sister Akuno, Kuliote, I don't know. I have before a family in Malaysia, Pelat, Al Shabab, Akinao. I don't know. Her story is no different from Rehina Omar's story. But for Rehina and her ailing husband, they celebrate and thank Caritas Nairobi in tears for our intervention. Asante sana, Caritas. Thank you very much, uh, Caritas. Uh, long live for Caritas organization. Caritas is helping me very much. <laughs> we have too much problem as a time. <laughs> The relief services we offer alleviate human suffering among our targeted communities and allow them to exploit their potential for personal growth and overall development of the third world. We plan to reach as many beneficiaries as possible. The funds we use are donations from our sponsors within the Catholic fraternity. We, however, are appealing to other organizations to join our work and sponsor what we do. We also wish to thank all individuals and institutions that have partnered with us and those willing to partner with us. With your support, we have been able to change many people's faces into smiling faces by giving them a new dawn and a flame of hope 
thus sharing in the cake of charity. For the corporates, when you have your social res responsibility budgets, think about Caritas. Think about Caritas, you can help Caritas through donations, you can also help Caritas through training, you can help Caritas through resources, different kinds of resources, and also through ideas. We need you to come and join hands with us because the needs are immense. Caritas is about, it's about us. Caritas is about every one of you. It's about supporting each other. That is what we are requesting. Let's support each other with the, with the foils of solidarity. It is good to dream, but importantly, it is good to wake up that dream and actualize your dream. And so the dream of the Caritas Nairobi, it will become actualized once you all of us wake up, join hands together, and make sure that the little we have could be put together for the good and for the benefit of our needy and poor brothers and sisters. Our programs take care of all the gaps that we get in the lives of, of, of these, these people. And uh, what we, we talk about uh, is that Caritas is there uh, to promote integral development. Caritas, you bend them. Asante sana Caritas. Asante sana Caritas. Nuko sandi mwarakoze Caritas, mutuye Nairobi.